It's day four in Cumbria, where the locals are a very proud lot. The best thing about Cumbria is the beautiful lakes. The people. The banging nightlife. The men. Must be the countryside. Could do with a few more hat shops, though. That would really cap it off. And hoping to get ahead of his guests is today's host, cocktail entrepreneur Ash. So tonight, I want it to be a showstopper from the beginning. I want them to walk in and be impressed. Indeed. Feeling less hopeful is Monday night's host, social worker Sarah. I hope you like it. Whose Arabic-themed menu failed to impress. We're getting to the bottom of it. <laughs> Solid as a rock. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, dear. I did give my night the best shot I could, but I don't think, you know, it went as well as I wanted it to. The guests agreed, I'm afraid, as Sarah scored a rather mediocre 23. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. So it was left to Bricklay and Dale. Hopefully it's as tasty as the stuff you get from your local Chinese. To try and lay the foundations for a winning night with some comfort food. Is that homemade guacamole? It is homemade guacamole. That's really yeah. nice. I don't think I'm last. Maybe not far off the top, if not the top. Well, you might have some healthy competition from last night's host, refuse worker Vicky. Cheers! <laughs> whose quirky medical theme proved to be a hit. I really enjoyed doing the hospital theme, and the games were fun to tie in. I think the food was really good. This is awesome. And fingers crossed, it's a winning night. Well, the injection of fun seemed to pay off, as Vicky is the current leader with 27 points. But loudmouth property developer Rob is still in a confident mood. Last night was a good night. I'm still going to win. <laughs> However, some of that bluster might be starting to grate. The only thing that's going to cause friction if Rob goes silly and loud. You, <laughs> when you drink a glass of water, is the same water that a T-Rex has vomited in. We've got two more nights left. It could go either way. It'll be up to Ash to rein them all in. I would like to think where I'll shine tonight is in the hosting. With my menu tonight, I'm going for a Cumbrian, wholesome, you know, family food um, that I've, you know, grew up eating. If I get the prepping right and I don't mess up too drastically, I think I'm in a shot for winning, definitely. Starter next, King Prawns Pill Pill. Well, it could be a prawn cocktail, could be anything. It could be unfortunate because I'm a massive fan of prawns. Not. King prawns are big, the big, big ones. Yeah. Have they got the, the gear on the tentacles and that? Yeah. You know what I mean? I do. It depends how Ash is prepping them. So these prawns were handpicked from the monger himself. They've all been detailed and depooed and deveined. I'm not sure what the pill pill means, though. Um, maybe he's going to put them in pills. <laughs> Maybe um, some kind of lager. Pill Pill is just the Catalan name for the marinade, which he starts by chopping lemons. So I don't get too confused with these knives, because it says chop. So I'll chop. Yeah, maybe it should say blunt on that knife. This is no good. Doesn't seem to be cutting anything. I'll use me mum's. Wise. To the lemons, he adds garlic, fresh chilli and a big glug of olive oil. Smells decent. And that's all I can do till later, till I need cooked off, and they'll be ready to serve. And that's the food prep done. Right, I'm happy with everything. I've got a little surprise for my guests for when they arrive. Sounds intriguing. <laughs> oh, -ho! he's got his horse box bar out. Cocktails are my business. This is my cocktail bar. I'm going to be making some cocktails for the other guests. A little bit of Rob for the fizz, a little bit of sweetness, just like Vicky. They're going to pack a punch like my man Dale and a little bit of sourness for Sarah. That's quite the blend. Oh, lovely moves. I think they're going to be happy with that. I can't wait. I'm off to get changed. And let's get started for tonight. The menu looks a bit sophisticated, but it's Ash, so I don't think it will be. Oof. It's night four in Cumbria. Yeah. Where cocktail entrepreneur Ash is trying to impress his guests with a menu of personal favourites. While he gets to work in his kitchen frying prawns, Rob and Sarah have a nose around. Look at all that beef. <laughs> Look! <laughs> I think he's a barman. Oh. Riding boots, aren't they? <gasps> he's a horse rider. I wasn't surprised about Ash being into horse riding. He's a country lad, you know. He kind of looks apart. I'm feeling a little horse. <laughs> Whoa there, I do the jokes. <laughs> in the kitchen.
kitchen and Ash is out of the blocks and whipping up his starter. No, oh, I think you've spilled oil on that hot ring. Don't spill any more. Ow! Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I'm not sure that's going to help. I'd turn off the ring. And the fire alarm. Shut up! That's it, fella. Brave face. Emergency dealt with. He finishes off his prawns before plating up. I've done my best, so hopefully it's a winning start. Fingers crossed. Here it is, King Prawns Bill Bill. King, eh? Well, that's what it says. Do you not like prawns? Mm. Do you know what? I'll, be, I'll do your kindness like I do with everybody. I'm not a big lover of seafood anyway, so when it was put in front of me, I thought, oh, crap, but it was OK. It's really nice. It yeah. does taste amazing. It really Thank is you. good. The, the oil tastes amazing. The flavours are, yeah, they're really gorgeous. It's just What's prawns. That? I don't like prawns. Aren't really my thing. They were quite hard as well. I think they're really, really nice. Um, I was a bit worried that you were maybe going to have when you said king prawns. Yeah. I was expecting big prawns. So was I. Them small ones in that sauce, by the way that is, that's absolutely perfect the way I like it. They may be king, they may be queen. Could be the bloody jester for all I know. <laughs> I love the, the, the chilli, the garlic and the oil. The prawns were perfect. It was good, he done well. Sarah and Rob both don't like prawns, so there's not too much you could do about that. Dale demolished it, so that's good news. <laughs> Ash, I've been in your bedroom. I'd like you to explain the whip. Well, I've been riding horses all my life. I've never ridden a horse. Uh, donkey at Blackpool once. Same thing. I've also just opened up a cocktail bar. Oh! Yeah. Right. So it's actually a mobile bar, so it's an old horse trailer. Yeah. Thoroughbreds uh, usually have funny names. Um, what do you think your funny names would be if you were a horse? Asada, I would say you are... Mystic Meg. Oh. Uh, <laughs> interesting choice. Dale, you would be all-you-can-eat buffet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I like it. I do, I like it. You probably are injury-prone. Yeah. Injury-prone? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I like it, I like it. <laughs> you are definitely. <laughs> Prima Donna. Prima Donna. <laughs> I can see where that name would come from. It's quite flamboyant. OK, so we can all pick on Rob. All right, this is a hard one now. We maybe yeah. should all That's choose one each. This is a hard one now. Yeah! <laughs> It'd be an odd day at Ascot with this lot running. So, it's injury prone riding Mystic Meg. Mystic Meg is uh, holding on because all she can eat is the buffet. This is one hard one coming right up at Prima Donna. She's loving it, but she's injury prone while Mystic Meg is praying to God that there's going to be more buffet. When Rob done that commentary, he absolutely smashed it. It's injury prone riding Mystic Meg. It, like, just flowed out his mouth. His brain was so quick keeping up with the names. Oh, no, injury prone comes over the top. And it's amazing, but Mystic Meg has taken it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good! Yes, well played, but the race for the £1,000 prize is still on. <laughs>